What's going on guys? We got a 2005 Mazda 3 with the 2.3 liter, naturally aspirated with the manual transmission. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do an E85 conversion today. So we head over to the company named E-Flex and then they gave us, we got the piggyback computer, we got a wiring kit, uh, we got the little wiring harness right there. Uh, and we do have an ethanol sensor. And then what you're gonna need, you need some pliers, multimeter, some screws, um, some zip ties, and then some screw head. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is disconnect your fuel relay. Uh, to do that, uh, open your fuse panel, and it'll actually say in the diagram which fuse is gonna be. So in my case, it's a 15 amp fuse. So it'll be this one, the third one. It's like that. That on the car right now, and then you need to make sure that there's no fuel pressure in this car. So, what you're gonna want to do is make sure you're gonna open your fuel cap and let the pressure out. All right, now that you make sure there's no fuel pressure in your car, your ethanol kit actually comes with the additional hose. So, what the E85 company to recommend that you're gonna measure six inches from your fuel rail and mount your ethanol sensor right here but as you guys can see I don't have a space over here so I actually measure a little bit more and mounted my ethanol sensor right here so it's basically you got your fuel rail you got the hose it's connected from here to this end and from this end to this end and from this end it'll go all the way to that end Okay, so after you're done mounting your ethanol sensor, it's time to mount your piggyback computer uh, from Eplex Pro. Uh, for this car, the better place, I guess, is the right next to the battery, but every car is different, so I'll find a better mounting place for your, your car. Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right over there where my battery is. I actually had to little, uh, trim it a little bit just to make sure that I don't really rub it against each other. Uh, what, what you're gonna do? I'm gonna remove this bolt. So we got the ethanol sensor mounted, we got the piggyback computer mounted. The only thing left to do is to find out the right voltage and then we're gonna have to do the wirings. So it's pretty straightforward to be honest. Um, we got our main wiring harness right there. This end is gonna go to the piggyback computer uh, and then this little brown clip, it'll go to our ethanol sensor. And we also got our male and female adapters. This is gonna go to our injectors. And last but not least, we got the, the heat sensor. Let's go get it started. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in. And then, ethanol sensor just we're gonna go up right there and then what you're gonna do go ahead and disconnect all your fuel injectors the wiring harness and then go ahead and grab your multimeter and make sure it is on continuity and what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and grab one of the end Plug it into one of those. And then the other end. If you hear the beep, that is where your red wire goes to. If you, if you don't, switch it and do it again. Okay, so now we're gonna do, connect our male and female adapter to our injectors. Right there. there and then this 
adapter is gonna go connect like that. And then the same rule apply to all this. So click. last one and then we got that done and the only thing we got left is our heat sensor you can go ahead and mount this uh, anywhere from this area just find a better place for the heat sensor uh, in my case I'm gonna zip tie it right there uh, I'm gonna leave that for right now and we're gonna go back to our module and we got the ground connection for this car this is this is the better ground uh, and we also got a white wire what this is it'll allow you to run a white band gauge and then in my case I don't have one right now but I will be running one in the future so go ahead and mount my I'm gonna go ahead and mount my ground wire right now and secure I'm gonna tuck the wires in make sure everything's as clean as possible and don't worry about this one this is like a additional one if you got like a v8 but i got an inline four so i'm not going to be using this okay so now that you're done with your e85 conversion we got to make sure everything's working fine and we do have one more thing is that go ahead and download the eflex app and connect your phone to your module in that way you can uh kind of mess with everything and you can see what the app does it's actually amazing so let's go ahead and check that out well i heard the click on the fuel pump so we got fuel going on app right here if you guys can see it and then let's go ahead and connect the app let it scan for your ECU module there you go that's the eflex field right there go ahead and hit connect just wait a little bit and it's gonna take a little bit of time but there you go we got the RPM we got the ethanol content I got 58% of ethanol and I got my engine temperature right there. I got four injectors, everything seems to be working. Uh, if you guys can see when I step on my pedal, the RPMs actually reading pretty good. And if you slide it, you got home, pro view, all topper, all the all your menus right here. Uh, you got you got actually three driving mods for being such an old car getting three driver mods is pretty cool actually you got the default dynamic and sport um i mean everything seems to be working so thank you for watching this is our first video um trying to get better at it trying to get trying to make more content but thank you so much for watching and please give it a like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video thank you